In this video, we're going to continue going through evaluating the factors which make some resonance forms more stable than other resonance forms. And, and previously, we've talked about the importance of charge, so neutral resonance forms can be more stable than charged resonance forms. And we said that it's important to have full octets, so resonance forms with full octets on all the atoms are more stable than those without. We talked about the factors which stabilize negative charge, and now we're going to talk about the factors which stabilize positive charge. Okay, so positive charge, obviously, if something has a positive charge, what we're really talking about is an atom with less than a full octet. So we're not really talking about situations where we have an atom with a full octet and a positive charge on it. That doesn't really come into the discussion. We're not really worried about that type of situation. We're more interested in is situations where we have to pick between, let's say, carbon atoms, where we have to decide which carbon atom which bears a positive charge is going to be a more significant resonance form. So if I was going to compare this resonance form, let's say, with this resonance form, so, so CH3, let me just draw it out here, CH3, C, CH3, and double bond, C, and maybe I'll have to move over this a bit here, CH2, positive charge, and a hydrogen. Okay, so let's look at these two resonance forms. They differ by the fact that here, obviously, we've got a carbon with only six electrons on it. This is called a carbocation. And this carbon over here has only six electrons on it. It's also a carbocation. Now, which carbocation is going to be more stable? Well, carbocations are electron poor. Right? So electron poor species are the more electron poor they are, the more unstable they are. So they're stabilized by electron rich neighbors. So if you're poor, it helps to have rich neighbors. So if you compare these two carbon atoms, so for example, this carbon here, it's surrounded by three other carbon atoms. So this is what we call tertiary. And this carbon atom here is just primary. And carbocation stability is a very important thing to know about in organic chemistry because a lot of times where we're going to be thinking about stability of positive charge is stability of carbocations. And the more carbons that are attached to a carbocation, the greater the stability because those carbons can donate electron density to, to the carbocation in a way that that hydrogens cannot. So hydrogens do not have excess electron density that can really donate to help stabilize that positive charge. So for that reason, tertiary is going to be more stable, much more stable than primary carbocations. So if you have a choice between a tertiary and a primary carbocation, this is going to be more stable and this is going to be less stable. So therefore, this is going to be a more significant resonance form. Significant. And this is going to be a less, less significant resonance form. So again, it comes down to what atom is able to stabilize that positive charge the most and it'll be the one which is connected to the most carbon atoms in the case of, of carbon. Now, there is another factor, we think about factors which stabilize positive charge, and this is more, I guess, of a common sense issue. So if you have a choice between putting a positive charge, in other words, an atom with less than a full octet on either uh, on the, the more electronegative atom or the less electronegative atom, so let's draw this out here.
So you always want to do is you're going to break a pi bond through resonance. Um, so you're going to take up the tail is the carbon oxygen pi bond. We're going to move a new lone pair to the oxygen here. So now it's going to have a negative charge. This carbon is going to have a positive charge. So if you have to have a positive charge, if you have to have an atom with less than a full octet, you always want to put note that here carbon is less electronegative than oxygen. So, so in other words, negative charge will go toward the more electronegative atom and therefore the positive charge is going to be left behind on the less electronegative atom. Uh, this is just a really long way of saying never put less never put less than a full octet on nitrogen or oxygen in, in case unless you're talking about nitrines or carbenes or uh, oxines in which case then you know what you're doing already you don't need to watch this video so there are really just very rare cases where you might have less than a full octet on nitrogen and oxygen we don't usually encounter them in this course so if you're going to put it on uh, an atom with less than a full octet so preferably put it on carbon instead of oxygen so just makes sense from an electronegativity standpoint uh, you don't want to have less than a full octet on a more electronegative atom. So that's how we stabilize positive charge. And in the next video, we'll talk about aromaticity and how that's important for resonance stabilization.